All right. Um, who wants to go first? Microsystem. What did you find out? Okay. Excellent. And meso system. Someone else? Interactions with the family, immediate family. Interactions, yeah. So that anyone does anyone have a different definition? That's a correct definition, Melissa. Really, so thank you. Influences on family life. Influences, interactions. All I want to illustrate because meso system is probably one that's slightly vague when it comes to how it's defined in literature. So I just want you to get a variation of uh, a variety of words, so you know we're <laughs> talking about the same thing. Um, anyone with a different uh, definition to the ones given by uh, Rihanna and Melissa? Okay, influences on family life. Thank you, Kirsty. Yeah. Excellent, thank you. Right, um, exosystem. Jason? Sorry. Uh, the social balance filters effect on the development of the child, so the government, media, things like that. Exosystem, okay. Environmental. Environmental? Yeah, the elements. The elements of the environment. Any other? Living things. External things. external things, okay. And macro system. Socio economic, cultural. Well, poverty, ethnicity. Larger cultural context. Yeah. Ending on the grand scale of things. Okay. Right. Are we okay to move on? Yeah. Now we move on to time. Right? Uh, we have micro time and meso time. Okay, so micro time is defined as uh, continuity versus discontinuity in ongoing episodes of proximal processes. What does that mean? Okay, right. Uh, all it's referring to is what is actually happening. Right? And is that happening with consistency or inconsistency? In a nutshell. So the things that are happening around the child, there, there's a range um, of things that could be happening. Uh, one of them, we mentioned things like divorce, or maybe a wedding. And then other things which happen with consistency. Right? They may have <coughs> an impact on, on the child, obviously. But these are time-related events. Um, then you have meso time, how consistent? So you have, right, again, it's difficult to actually say this stands out on its own. Because this one is talking about continuity, which is similar to consistency. Because continuity has to do with consistency, right? Now, all you need for your essay, if you're going to use uh, time, you just mention the time events. Uh, we've mentioned at the beginning of the lesson, or at the beginning of the, the presentation. Those micro and meso time sometimes are confusing. Actually, they're confusing to most students. Because when you are describing micro time, you will most likely also stray into defining meso time. I feel like some really clever people just made up all the words. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, why? Why, why do you avoid this? 
stuff. Yeah. yeah. Why not just talk about time events? Yeah. yeah, just time, not like time. Yeah. What happens in seconds and minutes? Questions? Yeah. Now that's, that's my, <coughs> oh, where are we? Here. <laughs> right, that, that's me. Right? Let's move on, shall we? Context. Right, so your context are your... Go back, okay? Means of time. It's the intervals. Yep. Are they long intervals between events or short? This is an impact on how the child develops. Okay. All right. Have you just referenced yourself, Mr. Gabby? Yes, I have. Well done, yes. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> Thank you. At least I've contributed to knowledge. Hey. <laughs> right, okay, are we okay to move on? Yeah. Ba -ba right, context. We have talked about context, right? Are we going back? Ah. Right, now we have a task which consists of five items. And can you do this task in groups of no bigger than three people? Okay. So let's get started. 